executive functioning is probably the most important cognitive function that a student can have in school today. Uh, executive functioning uh, relates to prefrontal lobe uh, ability. This is the, considered the control center of the human brain. People often use the analogy of an airplane's cockpit and the instrument panel and the pilot's ability to control this panel and the influence this instrumentation has on the plane. So to have a good executive functioning system is critical uh, for school success. Uh, many children with ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder have executive functioning weaknesses. And so organizing, planning their lives is very, very difficult for them. Some often have to have their parent plan their whole day, make sure their homework is complete. Uh, the teachers are spending an inordinate amount of time with these students uh, because they need someone by their side to plan and execute uh, their work day or their, their academic day. So to be able to improve executive functioning is really, really important. And the Aerosmith program, I would say in all 19 areas that Barbara Aerosmith has identified, and it's important to say this is not an exclusive list of 19, there's probably other areas of cognitive functioning yet to be analyzed and uh, looked at in terms of cognitive interventions, but the 19 that Barbara has identified, each of these cognitive areas requires executive functioning, it requires you to execute and plan a task, uh, a cognitive intervention task. So in many of these 19 areas, students are exercising the prefrontal lobe or the executive functioning system of the brain. There are two subtests that tend to have a particular uh, orientation towards executive functioning are two areas that Barbara's identified uh, in the Aerosmith program. Uh, one is symbolic thinking and the other one is artifactual uh, thinking. Uh, and these are the areas in the left and right hemisphere, prefrontal hemisphere of the brain. And Barbara's identified them as critical uh, for academic and social success. Uh, so during the Aerosmith assessment, when children come in to be analyzed for cognitive abilities, strengths and weaknesses, we can identify if there is executive functioning uh, weaknesses and how that plays a part in their education. What is also fascinating is many of them come in with medications uh, because of attention deficit disorder and so they come in having been medicated or continuing to be medicated and we find that as they work through the cognitive exercises that over a period of two to three years approximately 60 to 70 percent of those students can come off the medication. Uh, what that means is that indeed their weakness with attention, their weakness with executive functioning, organizing, planning, was not due to a neurochemical problem that needed medication, but due to cognitive weaknesses, the wiring of the brain. And by improving cognitive functioning, uh, they no longer showed the symptoms or behaviors of attention disorder. Uh, and that's certainly exciting to know. I know this field is looking for alternative methods for treatment for attention deficit disorder, and I think Aerosmith program is certainly one of them.